Hey YouTube, sorry my video was frozen at the beginning as usual. As you can see, I'm in a different location with not so amazing lighting, but you know, that's not what this video is about. I'm actually at work at the desk. It is Christmas Day, hence why I have on my little hat. And I also have on some green lipstick and my red Winthrop sweatshirt. So, what I wanted to talk to you about today is just some of like some Facebook posts from the past from Christmas and just some verses that I've really been reflecting on since I've been lacking on my uh, Christian living videos as of late. I just haven't had time to really sit down and focus and produce some quality content to put on the internet. So, on December 25th, 2011, I posted on Facebook that being a child of God is a gift that will never stop giving and that being blessed is an understatement and that is still true four years later in 2015 that is so true being a child of God is a gift that will never stop giving because we have the hope of eternal life and just being a child of God has just enhanced my life so 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 much so in 2013 two years later I posted on Christmas thoughts from church tonight Christmas is the random day we've chosen to celebrate the birth of Christ. So what gift did you give him? We all sin and fall short of the glory of God, which is Romans 3.23, but the best gift we could ever give Jesus any day would be a lifelong commitment to his will for us by becoming a Christian and a servant of his word. The greatest command he gives us is in Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 through 38, which is to love him with all our soul, strength, and mind. It's not easy, but it's what he really wants, and I'm still working on giving him this gift every day. So that leads me to some verses that I've been reading recently that have really just been on my mind. And I want to talk about what are we giving to God, and that's the greatest gift that we could give him is to love him with all our strength, soul, and mind. And are you really doing that, and how are you doing that? So another verse that I found recently in 2015, December 2015, is Psalms 145 verse 9, which says, The Lord is good to all, and he has compassion on all he has made. And that is so true, that no matter what we do, God is going to have compassion for us, and he loves everything that he's made. He loves all his children, even the ones that have chosen not to obey him. Sorry, there was a squirrel in the tree. I'm The one knows behind me. And some other verses that made me think about, you know, am I really giving God this gift every day? Like, what am I really doing? Are some verses that are somewhat negative, but they're very truthful. And I feel like they're words that we need to hear. And the first verse is Hebrews chapter 10, verses 26 through 27. And it says, For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which will devour the adversaries. So we talk about being thankful and loving God and all these things a lot during, you know, November through January a lot, but it's something that we need to really focus on every single day. And if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of truth, meaning if you're a Christian and you're still sinning willfully, then you have an expectation. You have a certain fearful expectation of judgment. And the judgment is not going to be in your favor because if you know the truth, you have to obey it. You have to live it. And I feel like a lot of people are very complacent and they feel like, oh, well, I'm saved now, so I don't have to do anything more. But no, you need to be giving God that gift every day, the gift of obedience to his word, the gift of obedience to his will, the gift of loving him with all your soul, your strength, and mind. Another verse that has been on my mind a lot is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21, which says, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and the table of demons. So basically not being lukewarm. You can't love God on Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter and then every other day of the year live your life however you want to. You can't just love God on Sundays but every other day of the week you're just living however you want to. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You need to choose one or the other and commit to it 100%. 
And that's what God wants for us to do, is to commit to him 100% by loving him with all our soul, with all of our soul, strength, and mind. And that's the greatest gift that you can give him, because that's the greatest commandment he has given us. And the last verse is Titus chapter 1, verse 16, which says, They claim to know God, but their actions, they deny him. They are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for doing anything good. And you don't want this scripture to describe you. And you need to think about, does this, does, does this scripture describe me? Do I claim to know God, but do my actions deny him? Do your actions deny God? You claim to know him, but do your actions deny him? Do your words deny him? And that's something that, ooh, the contrast. Thank you, Bandcamp. Anyways, that's something that you need to be thinking about, that I need to be thinking about, that we all need to be thinking about as children of God. We can't claim to know God, but have our actions deny him. We can't drink of the cup of the Lord and drink of the cup and partake of the cup of demons. Like, I feel like just a lot of people my age are really, they're doing that and they don't see anything wrong with it and they're perfectly okay with it and they're perfectly fine with it and they think that they're all right with God, that their relationship with God is good. But that's not what the Bible says. That's not what these verses say. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26, for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for our sins. Because you know what you should be doing, but you're still not doing it. So as we head into the new year, as we're celebrating Christmas, as we're thankful for the gift of God's birth, his life, his death, his resurrection, as we move into 2016, let us really focus on not just claiming to know God, but actually living like we know God and making that evident and obvious to everyone around us. And that's what's been on my mind as of late. And Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a blessed day. But really think about the things that I said in this video and those Bible verses, which I'm going to put in the description box below. Because honestly, being a child of God is the gift that never stops giving. And we should never stop giving everything that we are back to the Lord. I thank you for watching this video. I thank you for your support. And I'm just thrilled and happy about what 2016 holds for me. 2015 has been a year of growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually in only positive ways. So I'm just really blessed, really happy, really thankful, and just excited for 2016. So I hope these words touch you in your heart in that... You can share this video with other people because I think it's a message that a lot of people really need to hear. Again, those verses are going to be in the description box below. Again, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.